obviously people might not remember this, but I did cover this this girl in one of my older live streams. But I did I didn't want to come back to this because I never made an official video about this. So here, women tend to give, especially when you talk about young women. Young women give awful. I'm talking about like awful, awful advice when it comes to relationships, dating, uh, friendships in general. You know what I mean? Um, but now you have this grift now where you have young women being life coaches and they be 22. I'm like, how, how you how you a life coach at 22? But here, this is a right here. What, I, what, I, what I'm showing who, who I'm showing you right now. This is a this is a life coach. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is a life coach. So this is going to be her um, advice, right? For the people that are supposed, she's she's going to give advice on how do you know if there's the certain people around your life. This is who you're supposed to be around. And she's taking it to a relationship standpoint and I think dating standpoint as well. I think she's more leaning towards the dating standpoint, but she's putting it in a relationship standpoint when it comes to friendship. And then she's trying to combine all of this together. But let's listen to her advice. <laughs> if you want to know who you're meant to be around and who you're meant to have in your life, pay attention to who your inner child comes alive around. I promise you, your inner child is always, and I mean always going to tell you when a person is for you or not and i'm talking about like giggling goofy free inner child energy whoever that inner child likes to show up around those are the type of people that you need in your life if you want to know <sighs> thank you mrs life coach first of all guys that is i'll say this personally that is horrible advice especially when you're talking about in a dating stance in a dating standpoint that is a horrible advice and I'm and I'm talking specifically, we talking about to the to the women. If there are women listening to that advice and they're applying that into their dating, you're gonna you're gonna end up being a single mom. <laughs> I don't know what else, I don't know how else to say you're gonna end up being a single mom. Now, <laughs> but I'm I'm gonna show you her bio in a second. She's a life coach. This is this is a female life coach, and she can't be no more. From last I checked, she's like when I did the breakdown. On her profile last i checked she's like 20 or 21 right so this is not her page i'm gonna bring up her personal page in a minute but this is obviously this is a page called alpha girl <laughs> the page is called alpha girl so you already know that page ain't ain't talking about nothing but let's look at alpha girl's caption to this she's going to whoever's running the alpha girl page is going to co-sign what she said so right here, Alpha Girl says, pay attention to how your body feels when you're around certain people. When we're around people who awaken our inner child, they create a safe space for us to express ourselves freely and tap into our in inner playfulness without fear of judgment or rejection. <laughs> when you're around people who are not meant for you, you feel a lot more uptight, nervous, and less relaxed. Spend time with the people who bring your inner child to life. These relationships will motivate you to embrace your true self and live more authentically. Guys. This is terrible. <laughs> this... Yo, this is, this is, look, I'm not, I'm going to keep it a buck with you about my personal life. I'm not the most personable person. I know this. People that know me know this. But I'm, I'm guys, I'm, I'm telling you this right now. This is bad advice. <laughs> this is, this is, this is bad advice. This is going to, if you, I'm talking about if you're primarily following this, but I'm not saying there's nothing to this. Right. I'm not saying there's nothing to it, but I'm just saying if you're primarily fine, if you're primarily using this advice and keeping this in the back of your mind, this is going to lead you to. I would say if you're a woman, this is going to lead you to. Early, a lot of early termination of pregnancies, <laughs> you being a single mom, a man, you being a single mammy and end up and ending up alone, this is going to end up with you being with predators. This is going to like, let me repeat this again. You're going to be around a lot of predators listening to that kind of advice. This is regarding women. If women are listening to this advice now for men, we kind of already understand. We don't have time to be waiting for somebody to bring out our inner child, quote unquote. But I will say this. If you have, I will just put it like this. If you're in a situation and you meet a woman that's telling you everything that you want to hear, you might need to proceed with caution. 
you might want to proceed with caution. I don't want you to end up like Tyrese and end up getting easily manipulated because women can spot a mark a mile away. She'll come up to you and say, I don't need, I don't need your money. I'm, I'm simple. I'm a simple woman. This is, this is what happened to Tyrese. And what ends up happening is, and this happens to both genders, but a lot of men will overlook the red flags on the women that we are attracted to and vice versa with the women. But particularly with men, we will overlook the red flags for the women that we are attracted to and also overlook the red flags of the women that the, it will be the one woman that finally just lets us do what we want with them sexually, <laughs> whatever, a, a woman that's, that doesn't really put constraints on you. So, but not realizing you're actually being love bombed by that woman and she's love bombing you quote unquote with sex you know what i mean so this is what men have to be wary of but particularly this girl here she's make this advice she's 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 catering her advice to women this 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 is this is this is this is her advice to women where <laughs> you need to be around somebody that allows you just to have fun and be judgment free and all this this is when, because because when because what happens when, when when women are ovulating, this this is this is gonna get a lot of women in trouble, especially when they're ovulating, because when they're just ovulating, it's just women just not being naturally women, they just think, oh, this is a spiritual. I'm just finally gonna let myself be free. Then, <laughs> like this is this is women have to be very careful with this advice. They have to they they can't take that advice to the bank. But let's replay. Let's replay this one real quick. Know who you're meant to be around and who you're meant to have in your life. Pay attention to who your inner child comes alive around. I promise. Now, what she's not. This is uh, Mrs. Life Coach. I think you need to also take into consideration what kind of childhood did most kids have. So you can't just assume, when you, especially when you're dealing with young girls, especially the way young girls grew up, you can't assume that they had a solid childhood. You cannot assume that. Miss you, your inner child is always, and I mean always, going to tell you when a person is for you or not. Now, I guess because the adage is always like, well, you know, you have to be careful. You, you need to pay attention to who kids respond to. But like I said, now she's trying to say inner child. Because there's always that adage of children kind of already have, have like a six like a, a sixth sense of if a guy's a predator or if the guy's creepy or not because they're just completely without filter they're just going off the energy when you're a kid but so i guess she's trying to use the adage of the inner child that the inner child is you know right but at the end of the day you're not a child anymore young lady you are a, a you are an adult <laughs> so the whole waking up my inner child all this stuff the, um that i'm sorry that just that that that's not really supposed to apply to you anymore. You are, you are, you are an adult. <laughs> You're an adult. And I'm talking about like giggling, goofy, free inner child energy. Now, what's happening to her right now? And I can't prove this. She's talking with a ninja. That's my opinion. I could be wrong about it. I did see her page and I did see she is going out with a girl. So I don't know if it's the stud that's making her like that i doubt it i think it was a ninja she met <laughs> i could be wrong but when she's talking about <laughs> giggling goofy i don't know who she met at her amazon job or whatever <laughs> or whatever at the warehouse like, like i said she needs to be she needs to proceed she needs to proceed with caution whoever that inner child likes to show up around those are the type of people that you need in your life if you and i'm not saying like the people in your life you can't have no funny guys in your life. That's not what I'm saying. Clearly, that's not what I'm saying. But her advice to a woman, like in this particular case, this is this is just I just think this is terrible advice. In my in my opinion, I think this is terrible advice. Now let's take a look at her profile, her page. Here we have Mrs. Life Coach. We already <laughs> look at her bio. It's everything. <laughs> her bio is literally everything you need to know. So right here, we look at her bio. Life Coach, red flag. Mental health advocate, red flag. Divine feminine, red flag. Work with me. Jala, MG, what's it? Jala, MGM, Jala management at gmail.com. Link tree. What is in her link tree? Let us see. <laughs> Let's see her link tree. And it better not be no OF. It better not be no OF. Work with me. Free coaching call. You know what, what I got to do? One, I got to. 
I got to prank one of these broads <laughs> and do a coaching call. Or I got to get one of these girls I know and just have them prank her. Because I think if a guy calls her, they're, they're, she's good. <laughs> She's gonna be like something's up. So, so she's gonna be like something's up. But I gotta get one of these broads that I know, and I gotta get them to call her as like a prank. I, I gotta, I gotta do this. I, I think that's a good idea. Anyway, let's look at her link tree. Work with me, free coaching call. If anybody's taking coaching calls from her, I mean, bruh, that's just that's that's just stupid. Email me newest YouTube video sober at twenty sober at twenty three. I don't know what she means by that. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. My sobriety journey. So this is a drunk. We have a former pill popper or a person that's probably still popping pills giving advice. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This is a life coach. I thought you guys as the consumer would want and it was stopping me from posting anything. So in this video today, we are going to be talking about my sobriety journey and how I have almost a year sober at the age of 23. That's it. And like I said, I keep telling you, these girls be druggies, dog. And she's give it's it's giving half breed. <laughs> Never mind. Let me stop because people get mad when I say that. Uh, <laughs> how many subscribers she got? She got five hundred ninety two subscribers. Let's take a look at more at her YouTube channel. Let's see what she got. She got two or three videos. Uh oh, I'm looking at her. She got the sep. She got that septum nose ring. The septum nose ring of justice. <laughs> Oh Lord, I gotta like I said, I gotta get one of these broads on my channel. <laughs> I I'll say this, I gotta get her on my channel and just to be like, what what, what do you think of my channel? Just just to, just so I can hear her just say the same ish. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy, man. But the reason why I highlighted that video with her talking about the ill inner child thing, um. Oh, she's one of those fake spiritual bitches. All about angel numbers and how to use them, what they mean. But this is a scam artist. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. This is how I healed from trauma. Oh Lord. I mean, this is a that means this woman's been in the streets already. Golly. They'd be old, they'd be like 20, 21 years old talking about they burnt out from the streets. How? But it's like everything I've already told you. I keep telling you, these girls get started early. And when I mean early, I mean really early. I keep telling you. But anyways, let's go back to her Instagram page. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm seeing the flights and whatever. I'm like, uh-oh. We already know somebody's been flying her out. Yeah, this girl, a whole walking red flag tattoos. Talking about I'm one year sober, finally at the age of 23. Well, I mean, what, so what have you been doing with the other years of your life? <laughs> Talk about you sober at 23, finally. Oh, man. That, man, this broad is a whole walking red flag. What, but where's the... Oh, yep. I knew she was a half-breed. This is... <laughs> I do it. I do it. And no... no. Oh, man. Her mom was a mud shark. Oh, man. Yikes. Anyways, let me leave that alone. Hold on. I saw a comment. So this is her mammy. Oh, Lord. And this is the step gump. Oh, man. I'm going to just leave my comments. I'm going to just leave what I'm about to say, my theories. <laughs> I'm going to just leave that alone. I'm going to just leave that alone. I'm going to just leave. I'm going to just leave that alone. Oh, yeah. This this is the picture I was talking about. So I saw this picture with her with, you know, her and uh, her uh, girlfriend. This the stud girlfriend. <laughs> the homie this is the homie. <laughs> I ain't trying to bully her, though. I ain't trying. I ain't trying. I, I'm not. a. I, I ain't like that no more. Anyways. <laughs> oh, and also because, like I said, I, I did. I don't know if I can zoom in. She does have a belly. Now, when I initially saw those pics up top if you know what i'm saying it's a lot of pictures of her hiding her belly i'm like is she pregnant is she trying to hide a pregnancy or something what's going on with that because when you're actually gaining weight particularly with women they kind of gain it all around it's not like just in one spot so if you see her belly just growing that means she's pregnant now i think for she just she's just, this just a girl with a belly or in the past she might have had an early termination of pregnancy which happens to a lot of young women this is why like a lot of young women they go through a lot 
I'm talking about when they're in their teenage. I'm not in their teenagers. They go through a lot. I'm talking about a lot. Uh, they really do go through trauma because they literally put themselves in <laughs> uh, near trauma experiences where they end up going through real life at an early age. So when I'm looking at her belly, it, it, it doesn't even look like fat. it looks. It, it kind of, I see like stretch marks. So I don't know. Maybe she had an early ter termination of pregnancy. Maybe she's a single mom and she's hiding it. You know what I mean? But a lot of her pictures, she's kind of hiding her belly. <laughs> like really trying her hardest to hide it, but she can't really hide it. Um, you know, but you know, that's just my opinion on that. I could be wrong. But like I said, 23 and she's a life coach. How sway? How? <laughs> How is she a life coach? Let's uh she has a TikTok, if I'm not mistaken. I would have sworn I saw the TikTok. Here we go. Yeah, so two 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 Jala Chantel. So I guess she makes most of her stuff, her following from her. She got most of her following from her TikTok, most of her, probably her money from TikTok. Let me see. Yeah, we're probably going to do more videos of her in the, in the future, but via her TikTok. Because now I'm looking at her TikTok now. I haven't seen her TikTok until now. And it looks crazy. First of all, she is, first of all, I, I already know she's crazy because, never mind. I just, I, she, she, she is crazy. I already know she's crazy. Talking about spiritual journey, angel numbers, your inner child. There's, I know too many broads like this, man. <laughs> I know too many broads like this. Feel stupid. What? Everyone feels stupid. Who cares? You feel stupid? Feel stupid. What? Everyone feels stupid. Post your silly little videos. You never know. You could be flown out to a business convention to make more. Oh, Lord. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to leave my comments to myself on that. But anyways, let me uh, know in the comment section what do you think about this broad or female life coaches in general, um, should they be banned <laughs> from Instagram and TikTok? Your thoughts.